goes haywire. She's all over me. We will be fixed. I've got reports to file. It'd sure be a shame if a repair wreck started getting lost. to decrypt more of those files. The Tachibana only had time to send a single message before they went dark, but it included their last known coordinate and an account of their initial encounter with the Karak. So what happened? Another colony ship, the Rebecca Lee, entered into orbit around a planet in the Kane's Venodacy constellation. After performing the requisite scans, they sent down a couple of survey teams and started constructing a colony. Less than a week later, the Karak showed up and killed everyone. Yes, they really didn't want us on that planet. According to this, the government believed that the planet was secret to the Karak. In the short time the colonists were there, they uncovered a series of ruins. Those ruins were marked with hieroglyphs that matched the markings on the Karak's ship. Which means they lived on that planet at some point. So they're committing genocide because we landed on their precious little planet? It sure looks that way. Correct. men showed up. Get me out of here! I'll get you to safety, but you need to unlock some doors first. What are you, nuts? There are aliens all around us, and you're worried about some locked doors? I don't have time to play games with you. If you want out of here, you'll help me. Hang on. I'll get us through. Gonna kill us! Just relax. Told you to be all right. Now let's go. Simmons from Astrogation overheard a conversation between Admiral Franklin and ASF Command. By the sound of it, the Karak blasted through our Saturn defenses like they weren't even there. ASF and the ISCI are prepping for a wide-scale evacuation. I need to get my kids off of Earth. There's not much time.
three hours and it was... She was... Claire, you're so cute, but we don't have time for hide-and-seek now! Those aliens off of me, army man. I gotta figure out why Monitor locked down this door so tight. Sergeant Walker, I've concluded my preliminary examination of Sergeant Henderson, and I'm afraid the prognosis isn't good. He's suffered an acute spinal cord injury. Even if I were to replace his legs with cybernetic equivalents, the existing nerve damage precludes any locomotion or sensation. That's not what I wanted to hear. Could we have done anything? What's done is done, uh, but had you been able to immobilize him after his injury, it's possible he would have retained some motor movement. How did he take the news? Not very well, I'm afraid. After I told him the prognosis, he got extremely angry and destroyed some of my equipment. Truly, unacceptable behavior. Let it go, Doc. He's been through a lot. I'll speak to him when I get back. <laughs> 